King arc. A King arc. We've got uh, Jewel in there. We've got Cassius in there. 809. And then you have Milk. Dre. And yeah. Dre and is, um, a, that's your name. It's it's your boy. And uh, wow, they're just getting right into it. I, I'm they? actually shocked. I think Dill didn't go to the bathroom. I think he just decided to say, screw it. I'm like, just going to come in. Yeah. Well, so Jen sent him to losers earlier on. Yeah. Honestly, a lot of call outs, just really consistent punishes with anti airs, a lot of important dash attacks. Just really played the corner well as on top of that. And honestly, th that's good to hear because, you know, Jen has been slacking a little bit. Not slacking, maybe that's the wrong term, but like the past couple of months, he's been rocking the Fox a bit at Xeno and hasn't been getting to Grand Finals. And now that he's finally going back to his main, seems to be uh, cleaning up shop, brings Palutena down to Grand Finals. But now this is kind of a shock seeing Dill yeah. sitting in Grand Finals himself. Yeah, absolutely. I was saying earlier, he's really found this footing in uh, the recent weeks. He's He started the game off relatively poorly, getting pretty inconsistent placements. And as of late, he's consistently been approaching top eight, making top eight, now even making top two. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's literally all it was is just to change the Rob and getting used to Rob afterwards, because this is his original Brawl main. So yeah. enough about that history, though. Let's jump into this game. They're both sitting at their first stocks yet again. Jen looking to try to get this. Uh, oh, I like that bait right there. He didn't actually commit to the swing of the back air, but Dill still caught the throw and doesn't get the kill. Yeah, good positioning by Dill, making sure he's in the right spot to look for the grab because he knew he was finding that punish. Nice up air. He's going to get the tech. I believe he held down, and that backer is going to net him the stock. Not too great DI from Dill. Well, it's okay. But Managed to just clean up shop really quick with the final up air for that next stock. Yeah. And what was really cool about that whole situation is that Dill was just chilling down below because he has a lot of gas in the tank. He, yeah. he can just hang down there for as long as possible. And that could be something to help him kind of mix up his recovery a bit. Absolutely. The only scary thing is not as long as possible. He actually died a couple times today for oh, he ran for out of overextending. Gas? Yeah, really? he ran out of That's gas such like, a rare I think, like, twice today. Yeah, honestly super rare. And Dill's resource management is honestly commonly really solid. So to see him go out like that was a little bit weird. But he's been making the most of his conversions and his corner pressure. And it's been netting him so much reward. Yeah, like honestly, he's already racked up 90% right off the bat. Using the gyro against him as well. As long as she holds on to that rob, we can't really summon it anymore. Oh, there we go. I, I like that he goes for the um, the throw right there to kind of like pile drive him onto the platform above, just give him some more aerial distance. Absolutely. He just needs to make the mix after that first fair a little bit deeper. Alan's been getting away and finding himself with more stage than Dill has. And that's honestly a problem for Spalatina. Can't yeah. be giving up stage. No, I mean, she'll take a, you, you give her an initial go, go a mile, man. Yeah. Now here we go, get some more lasers out here. The Let's platform cancel. Yes, sir. I mean, honestly, Palutena's, that, that's their bread and butter. They got, they love having platforms. Just to be able to cancel that into any arrow they want. But nice call Very out needy. from Dill. My yeah. God, I mean, down air lasts pretty long. Really good at getting the two frame on the ledge. Absolutely, yeah. And he's just been letting him kind of get to ledge for free. So that conditioning was real nice. Really sealed out that stock. And now he found himself a very even game. Alan finding nice extensions though, keeping him in the corner. Yeah, like a Dill, you know, trying to get out of his said corner, pushing his opponent backwards a little bit. But Jen, you see him every single time Jen's back is facing him, you know he's gonna be fishing for either like the backer or landing on the ground, dashing to the grab. It's gonna be that 50-50 mix up every single time. And that down tilt, he gets so much mileage off of that down tilt. Remember that one last game? I think he carried Mr. E across the entire stage with down tilt. Yeah. That Ridiculous. Was insane, yeah. Getting hit by a down tilt from this character just feels like Diddy Kong. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely Smash 4, like, without the peel. Yeah, well, that was a nice just walking pivot. And he Spaces called him out. And, yeah. Ooh, gets the down throw. Just nice landing catch from Alan. Not letting him get away with anything. Realizes Dill is pressing quite a lot of buttons. Trying to capitalize on that, but Dill's one grab away from... Oh, what was that? Relatively unfortunate, D.I. Alan will find himself one game away from the tournament. Yeah, honestly, that was so doable for Dill. That, that was the thing. Like, uh, I, I remember watching the previous set in Winners Finals, and it was more of like a steamroll yeah. from Jen. So, like, to see Dill adapt to that, I don't know if it's because he has so much steam coming in from Losers Finals. Yeah. But he is definitely he's got a lot of got a lot of momentum, and I think he can easily carry this into at least a game three. I'd like to see a bracket reset, but we'll see what happens. Dill was literally just one grab, one like uh, edge guard away from taking that all home because Jen was at 120, 115, somewhere around that ballpark for cents. Absolutely. I mean, Dill's a very critical player, and if you're going to find anything from a critical player, so they're very critical of themselves. And to make it this far in the bracket, he's definitely just been capitalizing on the mistakes he was making earlier and finding himself in so much better positions than he was in stock uh, in set one versus Allen. Yeah, he's definitely cleaning up his gameplay here. Right off the bat, just spamming the down tilt, just applying all that shield pressure, trying to force Jen to go for the jump. 
Now he's keeping him airborne a bit. I mean, that up air from Rob is such a good move for catching people trying to find their way back down to home base. Absolutely. And Alan's been getting so used to those anti airs. He was reaching a little bit too far for Tomahawk, got snatched up himself, and now he finds himself in the corner getting mixed. Schmix. The Schmix is real, dog. Here he comes. It's the up air. You never want to find yourself in that tech position on that platform because Palatin has the ability to just cover so many different options. Sick mix. Goes for the Ooh. down tilt. Jab wants him to sweep him in. Down tilts him back out there and starts applying corner pressure immediately. Also finds a little bit of extra credit off. Cheesy little gyro toss. Yeah, honestly, I, like it. I, I love it too, man. And then you got the kill too with that. Yeah, once again, the, the down air, really yeah. good at just throwing out that media hitbox. You just cover the edge guard. And again, we're going back up to the top platform. I like it. He goes for that fast roll just in case he whiffs, so there's no punish coming out from Jen. Yeah, that was really nice positioning on Tails End for sure. Okay, now we're chilling. Realize the robo boost. Yeah, doesn't want to burn too much fuel, and that's some nice conservation. I appreciate it, man. Stay green. Yeah, honestly, you, you got to be able to. Oh, oh my parry god! King, the parry <laughs> king. The parry I love it. When, when someone goes for like a multi-hit move, they get a parry in the middle of it. It's like you know, what? I'm gonna get the parry on the final hit, and then they capitalize on it. Good He's stuff. Been so consistent with stuff like that. He got it on Cloud. He got it on Rob. He's been parrying everyone's mm. stuff. Ooh, still finding himself off the map. Gonna get kicked in the face. Auto Radical's not gonna find them anything, but he gets pushed back off. Running it, out of fuel. It's such a touch. It's such a touchy spot for him, right? Because the second he commits to the up B, he can no longer air dodge. Like, so he's like a. He has to either be aggressive or try to like outmaneuver his opponent. Yeah. Oh, I mean Ooh, that was a good call out. Capitalize on the read, though. Yeah. He had the right idea. Yeah, absolutely. Put himself in the right place. Just didn't want to overextend. Uh, the gyros in Palu's hands. I mean, the range of that forward air is sometimes almost out, just outspace Jen. There he goes again. We've seen this time and again. Jen finally Yeet. committing to the drop down Nair Ooh. to get the kill. Yeah, I mean, if Rob's not going to swing there, you just drop with him. He doesn't have a hitbox on his way up. And I could have just been, honestly, maybe Jen was just like waiting for the prime moment to go for it because you saw Jen, he, Jen was kind of respecting him a little bit every single time he went for that upbeat dot below. So now it's finally the time to just like, you know what? I've been conditioning this. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, and Dill spot dodging a lot now, putting out a lot of nervous options, and Al's been reacting perfectly to all of them, almost catching him for the same thing he killed him for set one. And here we go, the Nair trains again. Nice back there, yeah. Honestly, a lot of repeat situations here. Dill, just a lot of nervous options. He's got to clean it up if he's going to take this game back. But the fr screen freeze did lie to us. Yeah. Liar. And it's not, though, how dare you. The thing is, this is doable for Dill. It, it's going to be extremely hard. This is a good start. That Get that girl. kill. You're nice. done for. 90% on Dill. He's got to play careful. He yeah. can't afford to get caught by that down tilt. I like that retreat, though. Backs away so the gyro doesn't hit him. Maintains the 0%. He's really trying to keep this even. One thing I'm noticing is that Dill goes for that laser while he's off stage, and that, 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 that's a commitment. You notice that Jen is trying to capitalize on that. Absolutely, but on shield, as Ralph was saying earlier, actually kind of safe. Hmm. Especially if he has the big laser. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Ooh, that speaking of. Big damage. Hold on big a second. Laser. Okay, 48% on Jen. Trying to. Good yeah, spacing. To close this out. Dill he, playing the corner. Incredibly He's right now. Applying a lot of pressure. Has him offstage, a potential edge guard situation. Oh no, he thought oh, he had the gyro! Himself over there, both going deep. Where are we going? He's boys? going to the other side of the platform! Then he catches him with the explosive flame. Who's gonna take it? Very Jen. nice. Wow, yes. those Good fox trots. Out. Yeah. Just dancing with him. You don't want to play footsies with me? I will mess you up, kid. Give me that 2-0 grand finals finish. Great stuff from Allen. Honestly, one of the cleanest tournament wins we have seen from him yet. Look at that smile. Look at his goober. I love his smile, his dog. Goober. He knows what happens. Like, you know what? I'm done messing around with Fox. I'm going back to Palutena. And then he makes New York City look free today. Yeah, absolutely. In all honesty. Where's he going? Is he coming in here? Yeah. The, the, the camera's falling? Uh, okay, oh, we're back here. here. He is. Yeah, Jen, you want an interview, bro? You want an interview, dog? You want an interview? You want Dre to do it? You want me to do it? You want Dre to do it?